I'm just calling the kids. The phone's been busy for hours. Wow. It's Italian leather I bought it this morning. Do you like it? Like it? I love it. It must have cost a fortune. Well, it did, but I think of it as a romantic investment. I'm going out with Alan for the first time tonight, and I want to dazzle him, feel how soft it is. Oh. Oh, Nirvana. What? There's nothing like the smell of new leather. Oh, I forgot. If Alan smells that, he'll know it's new. So? So he'll think I'm trying to impress him. You are. Yeah, but he's not supposed to know that. If he thinks I'm trying to impress him, he'll know how important this date is to me. And if he knows how important this date is to me, he'll think I don't go out very often. And if he thinks I don't go out very often, he'll wonder what's wrong with me. And if he wonders what's wrong with me, he won't stick around long enough to find out what it is. Whatever happened to being yourself? You're so old-fashioned. I'm old-fashioned. You're the one who won't let a man smell your coat on the first date. I think I'll wear a sweater. Uh, let's see, a car chase through a shopping mall, Hoover Dam exploding, and an attack by ninja assassins. They didn't reach the good part yet. Let's go. Hello, 9th Street Cinema. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jen. Mom, I still can't find my green sweater. Did you look in the downstairs closet? Mom, I looked everywhere. Then I don't know where it is. Mom, I Jenny, can we talk about this when I get home? All right. Goodbye. Hello, Allie. Sorry I'm late. I hit a killer pothole on Chamber Street and ate some asphalt. Then a cab swiped me coming up six. I was stuck behind a bus the rest of the way that was belching smoke all over the place. Why do you ride a bike in the city, Margaret? It's good for your health. <laughs> I tried calling, but the line was busy. Yeah, well, between the customers and my family crisis of the minute, the phone hasn't stopped ringing. What'd I tell you? Ninth Street Cinema. Wrestling yearbook. I gotta have it, Ma. I gotta have it. We already discussed this, Chip. Ma, I gotta have it. It's a collector's item. I'm sure it is a collector's item. Then why can't I? Because I don't want you spending your good money on a book of greasy glandular cases. <laughs> Ma. We will discuss this calmly when I get home, at which point I will say no. Goodbye. You want a kid, Margaret? I can give you one cheap. I couldn't, Allie. I mean, I don't even have a legal sublet. <sighs> Hello, 9th Street Cinema. Hold on, please. It's for you. Hello. Hi, Allie. Hi, Kate. Allie, can you do me a favor? Uh-huh. Could you pick up my watch? Why can't you pick up your watch? I'm at work. Where do you think I am, club man? <laughs> All right, all right, goodbye. Do I sound as irritable as I think I do? Well, you're tired. It's no fun sitting in here for six hours. But at least you're finished for the day. That's what you think. Whoever it is, tell them I will deal with it when I get home. Hello, Night Street Cinema. <clears throat> Mom, you doing a wash? No, I'm making dinner. I realize it's a subtle distinction. No, you know what I mean. I found the sweater I was looking for. I was wondering if you could wash it. You don't have to be 18 to operate a washing machine, you know. Come on, I got a lot of things I have to do tonight. Yeah, like helping your mother set the table for dinner. Chip, Mom wants you to set the table. <laughs> What's for dinner? Cauliflower and cheese casserole. We had that on Tuesday. Not all of it. <laughs> something else by all means the kitchen is at your disposal unless you would prefer to take us all out to dinner you do have american express don't you <laughs> allie have you seen my history book no i left it on the table and now it's not there anymore call the police <laughs> she oh yeah don't go too far dinner's in a few minutes what are we having cauliflower and cheese casserole forget the knives <laughs> what did you say? Uh, great. That's what I thought you said. Mom. Yes, darling daughter. Forget it. Good. Hi, everybody. Hi. Boy, being a travel agent is not everything the movies make it out to be. 
On top of that, I couldn't do anything without my watch. I was late for everything. Did you remember to pick it up? Whoops. Allie, you didn't. I'm sorry, I forgot. How could you? I called to remind you and everything. Now what am I going to do? Gee, Kate, I don't know. I guess your whole concept of reality has just crumbled to pieces. <laughs> What's with her today? She's in some kind of mood. Would everyone please sit down if it's not too much of an inconvenience? What is that? Cauliflower and cheese casserole. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's what? You all treat me like some kind of hired hand around here. I cook, I clean, I sew, I fix things. And do I get one word of thanks? No, you all loll around like great fat whales. And if something isn't done right on the spot, you complain. Well, that's it. I'm finished. Allie, calm down. I am perfectly calm. Just because you made a slightly uninspired choice for dinner. Well. I assure you, you will never be bothered by that again. What do you mean? I mean, I quit. Quit? Give notice, throw in the towel, resign. I am on strike. I'll go talk to her. Can we leave her on strike long enough to order a pizza? <laughs> Can my people talk to your people? I don't have any people. I'm all alone here in the slave quarters. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry you feel that way. Are you? Yes, I am. Good. I'll be quiet if you want to apologize. You got it. As apologies go, that one fell a little short of the mark. I apologized. I just didn't grovel. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to see that you've retained your self-respect, but in case you haven't noticed, you've still crossed my picket line. No, you're still on strike. Film at 11. <laughs> Allie. Homemaker stages wildcat walkout. Rescuers try to dig family out of tons of refuse. Allie, I appreciate everything you do around here, but we do contribute. Well, let's see how far your contributions go without mine. I'm on strike. Okay, I can handle that. Good, handle it. I will, starting right now. What's for dinner? <laughs> Something edible. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Ooh, poached eggs on toast? Poached egg on toast. <laughs> what are we going to have? Beats me. Why, we are going to have poached eggs on toast. Mom, you don't know how to make poached eggs. Well, we'll have mangled eggs, but we're going to have something special. Put up the toast. If you put up the toast now, it'll be cold by the time the eggs are mangled. <laughs> Who asked you? True. How do you poach eggs? You have to boil them in water. Okay, poached eggs coming up. Somebody make the orange juice. At least we know how to do that. How about some vitamins, just in case? Hey. Did we get a positive attitude going here? Okay. Give me two. Eggs. Eggs. Poached eggs coming up. Nothing to it. <laughs> Kate. What? Can you boil the water first? Why? <laughs> well, that's why. Well, so the yolk broke. So what? So we don't want egg drop soup. We want poached eggs. <laughs> the important thing is that it tastes good. Oh, Mom, they're all breaking. That's okay. After they cook, we'll strain them. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Oh, incidentally, I might not make it home in time for dinner, so I just start without me. Ta. <laughs> okay, everybody, get your coats. Where are we going? A coffee shop. Why? You didn't think we were really going to eat that mess. <laughs> Shouldn't we clean up first? Ah, we'll do it later. How come? That's my way. <laughs> Yay, we're going to be slobs. <laughs> Time for a channel change and dessert. Hey, Jenny, why don't you get the ice cream? Okay. Thanks. Great. Gross. Great. Gross. The leopard is nature's most implacable agent of death. 
here in never before seen footage a fully grown male devours a gazelle under the light of an african moon great gross double gross but educational yeah a rival male comes upon the scene and it's a fight to the finish for the gazelle i've been on the one on the right you're on i'm home well, it's Lord of the Flies. Huh? Have we dispensed with using plates as part of the new system? Oh, we're going to clean this up in a minute. I hope so. Nobody else will. Allie. Rescuers search in vain for family. Lost under garbage. And loving it. They're lost without me. There is not one organized mind in the bunch. Emma, I can understand. I mean, after all, she is Kate's daughter, and an apple never falls far from the tree. But Chip and Jenny, where did I go wrong? It's hard to say. I'd have to meet them first. It was a rhetorical question, Margaret. I knew that. You should see the place. It is a shambles, an absolute shambles. What have they done? What haven't they done? I walk into the house, and the first thing I see is a coat sprawled all over the sofa. Then I go over to the sink, and there, smack dab in the middle of the drain, is not one, but two tea bags. Now, if that isn't a clog waiting to happen, I don't know what is. <laughs> not to mention the canned foods are jumbled into who knows what kind of order. All right, I can deal with that. But then I go upstairs, and what do I see? A bath towel, a full-sized bath towel, wadded into the place where the hand towel should be, and it's still damp. Do you believe that? Come on. Hi. Hi, Jen. Hi. Now, can I borrow your orange pullover? How come? Because all my clothes are in the hamper. I don't have anything to wear to school tomorrow. Well, neither will I if you take my orange pullover. Sorry. You could do the wash. So could you. I have clean clothes. Great, there's no milk left. Who put the empty carton back in the fridge? It's not empty. There's still some left. Say, <laughs> What's for dinner? What did you bring us? My appetite. <laughs> Are we ordering out? Ugh, I'm so sick of takeout food. So am I. Who wants to cook? <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys. This is ridiculous. We're acting exactly the way Ellie said that we would. You know, there, there's no reason the four of us can't take care of ourselves. We're not children, are we? I am. That's no excuse. <laughs> Listen, sit down, Jenny. It's time we had a meeting. We've got to get ourselves organized here. No more takeout food, no more piles of dirty laundry everywhere. Are we getting a maid? No. We're going to divvy up the household chores in a fair and democratic way. Okay. Who wants to do what? <laughs> so much for the democratic way. Jenny, Emma, you are going to do the cooking? Why? Because if I do the cooking, someone is liable to get hurt. <laughs> Chip, you're going to be responsible for taking out the garbage, doing the dishes, and vacuuming. Why do I have to vacuum? Because you're the closest one to the floor. <laughs> I'm going to do the dusting, the grocery shopping, and the laundry. All right, you guys, let's get cracking. This is going to be good for us. Self-reliance is what made this country what it is today. Self-reliance is what tamed the rivers, cleared the forests, built skyscrapers, how about a little enthusiasm? What do you say? Yay. <laughs> okay, that's good for a start. Here, what do you think? I've tasted worse. I'll take that as a compliment. Hi, Mom. Hi, Ellie. Hi. What are you guys doing? What do you mean? You, in the kitchen, pots, pans, etc. We're just making something to eat. You're welcome to join us, nothing special. No, thank you, I I'm not hungry. So yourself. Well, so much for the first batch, I'll go down and do the hi, Allie. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? Laundry. Jenny, could you set the oven timer? Because I have to go back and put in fabric softener. And Emma, could you add furniture polish to the list? Something nice, lemon-scented. 
You got it. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like washed? Is that a yes or a no? No. Oh, well, if you change your mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be done in a minute. Take your time. I know what you're doing, and it's not going to work. What? Don't put on that innocent face with me. I recognize a guilt trip when I am being sent on one. <laughs> Nobody's trying to make you feel guilty. Oh, please. Do you expect me to believe that you all turned into perfect homemakers? Why not? I have seen more convincing conversions on Sunday morning television. <laughs> Allie, as I understand it, you're on strike. That's your prerogative. But in the meantime, there's a lot of stuff that has to get done around here. And if you're not going to do them, we're just going to have to do them ourselves. I realize that we're not as good at it as you are, but then that's the way it is right now. You're good. You're very, very good. But there's just one teensy problem. I don't believe you for a second. I can last just as long as you can. What's next? Whatever it is, it won't work. <laughs> so how's the war at home? For the past three days, there has been not one unwashed glass, stray sock, or wadded towel to be found. You couldn't stand the mess anymore, huh? Not me, them. They decided to take care of themselves. That's great. Yeah, that's what they want me to believe. You don't? Of course not. I know what they're up to. What? A little battle of wills. They don't want to give me the satisfaction of admitting that they're wrong, so they're pretending they can get along without me, expecting me to come pleading to them to be treated like a slave again. <laughs> That's pretty clever of them. <laughs> oh, they're clever, all right, Margaret, but not clever enough. Sooner or later, they're going to crack, and when they do, they're going to come crawling to me on their hands and knees, begging my forgiveness. Mark my words. Wow, Allie, you're one tough mama. <laughs> Who used up all my shampoo? Sorry, I ran out. Well, you could have bought some more. I didn't have enough time. Fine, I always wanted to go around looking like the bride of Frankenstein anyway. Oh, come on, you two, keep it down. It's no big deal. Has anyone seen my white shirt? I haven't washed it yet. It's in the load for tomorrow. Well, you know, I do need something to wear to school. Wear what you wore today. I can't. My pen leaked all over it. At least your hair's clean. Hey, let's cut this out. We're all in this together, remember? It's starting to crack. Excuse me? Falling apart, just as I predicted. It's a shame, really. I expected them to put up more of a fight. It's all too easy. Excuse me, it's time for the coup de gras. Hello? Hi. Hi, Mom. I'm calling to tell you that I probably won't be home in time for dinner, so start without me. No, that's okay. All we have to do is get the chicken all ready and we're on our way. Chicken! You're having chicken! <laughs> yeah, lemon chicken and zucchini. Ah, uh, you do know that you're supposed to marinate the chicken, I suppose. Yeah, we already did that. Ah, uh, and um, leave it covered until the last five minutes of cooking? Yeah, we know. What about the garlic? Did you remember the garlic? Uh, we're not using garlic. Ah, well, there you have it. My recipe calls for garlic. Well, you're... we're not using your recipe. <laughs> you're not? No, we're going to try something new. Listen, Ma, Kate just came home. I should help her, okay? Bye. Bye. They don't need me anymore. <laughs> wow. What a bittersweet victory. <laughs> You haven't done that rug yet. 
I did it yesterday, the day before, and the day before that. Give it a chance to get dirty, will ya? <laughs> uh, Jenny, you're not cutting the zucchini right. What do you mean? The recipe says thin slices, not chunks. Fine, here's the knife. Fix it. You can't change a chunk into a slice. Well, then butt out. Guys, what? what? Let's not argue, huh? Fine. Fine. Look, if I could cook, I would. Well, you can't, so that works out a little too convenient. I don't see what you're all complaining about. No one else has to do the vacuuming. Ah, oh, gee. Chip has to vacuum. I feel so sorry for you. It's hard work. You're getting away with murder in this house. Look who's talking. You don't want my help? Fine, you can cook by yourself. I'll cook by myself and I'll eat it myself. Hey, do your own wash while you're at it, why don't you? If you're not going to do the laundry, I'm not going to keep on vacuuming. You don't do it right anyway. Fine, the whole thing's off. Guys. Fine, I can't stand this anymore. Guys. Fine, I can't stand it either. Look, I'm sorry, but I can't stand this anymore. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, that I enjoy watching you flounder in your own mess, but that's not true. I don't like just taking care of myself. I like taking care of this house. I just want to be thanked for it every once in a while. Is that too much to ask? No, no, no. I don't think that's too much to ask. Good. I also don't think that it's too much to ask not to be called a pack of slobs either. I never called you a pack of slobs, exactly. And also to be told that we always have to do things your way. I see. So, how do you think we should resolve this? Well, I think that your side should get together with our side and begin to negotiate. All right, I'll agree to that. All right, what do you say we begin? Ah, uh, wait a second. Taste this and see if it has too much garlic. It's not your recipe. Then it's wrong. <laughs> Seven. The aforementioned Allie Lowell shall wash laundry on a regularly scheduled basis. The aforementioned takes no responsibility for the timely washing of special items. Okay, we'll give you that. Eight. The aforementioned Allie Lowell agrees to refrain from chastising, lambasting, or otherwise reprimanding household members who fail to conform to her exact methods. I object to lambasting. <laughs> lambasting is deleted. Thank you. Nine. Any tasks performed by the aforementioned outside the terms of this agreement shall be construed as favors for which she shall be promptly and properly thanked. Agreed? Where do I sign? Right there. <laughs> There's no one around who's caring Along comes a friend who offers a hand in sharing Then things start looking fine Sometimes tears and sorrow are all the things you've got Just when you think you're all by yourself, you're not